Hi guys, it's Michelle here. Just want to show you my latest junk journal that I've just recently made. It's an envelope that has been gifted to me by Anna. It's come as part of my happy mail. So I, up to now, haven't had an envelope junk journal, so this will be my first. So thank you, Anna. If we go inside, the signature is one that I started many moons ago and I've just added some colourful and cheerful elements into it. On the right here you'll see that because we had our addresses on this envelope I've just added some items I had years ago just sitting on the side to cover those up. I've come into using and making a lot of flip books so I've got little scraps of washi tape which I just put on a little plastic bag here and I put a three dimensional little butterfly that I received in some happy mail. I had this piece of vellum that's been sitting there on my craft table for a long time that's been washi taped in just to add a bit of interest. I like to write so we've got a journaling spot here and I also like to collect receipts and all types of other ephemera, so I've made a little envelope here, also out of the notebook set. It's really, this one was just a matter of using up bits and pieces, or using items that I've been gifted. So here we've got some stickers saying the word journal, we've got another little section, a little piece of plastic here that's got more sections of scraps of washi tape. We've got a tag that also fits inside, which can come out, and I've also placed some more washi tape so I can stick items into this journal. I had a little vellum bag here with some die cuts that I cut off little leaves, so that's also been attached inside. Two deep pockets here. Both of them have got some tags inside. This is part of some die cuts I received, so rather than waste it, it's colourful. I'm going to journal on the back of that one. Part of the notelet set. It's got dates and it's got months, so I can circle and then I can journal on the back. I use put in my first fabric pocket that you can see here. I've got a little bit more tape that I received in part of my happy mail. Played around with some little stamps and put snail mail here. Done a little snail. Even put snail mail for Michelle. Another part of decorative junk really, just come from some of my happy mail. A little tab saying details here, more washi and a little sequin. Here I've decorated and made a little envelope, so it's got an embellishment here, that's washi taped in. Got another little envelope at the bottom. This comes down, then revealing this butterfly. I've got it so I can tuck items under the butterfly. We've got just some plain doilies. This is all before I probably ever learnt to do any tea or coffee dyeing. Here we've got an envelope that I've turned inside out that I've received from the bank. This is obviously the little vellum window where it would have had my address in it. I've used that and enclosed a tag. I was playing around with watercolour paper, so i done some stamping and some acrylics, so just playing around. Much larger tag, and it's just got a very simple bit of fibre on the top. Just playing around with my punches, so a scallop punch that's just for decoration. Here we do have some notelets that can be taken off and stuck throughout the journal. As you can see, I had this pocket just sitting needing some use. I've taken a napkin and just glued this, these couple of girls from the napkin onto this pocket. I've got a tag inside another section for journaling. This is attached with washi tape, so that does flip down. It is on a pattern, a sewing pattern, which yet again 
can be used as a deep pocket. The actual part of the pattern was this was very badly damaged so I've glued it down just more for interest. Got some real ephemera there with some hooks on. An item from Pin Interest, so I've glued that in. We've got the pocket here, and we've also got the instructions from this particular little sewing pattern. I glued this part of the pattern onto some card, and so that's attached to washi tape, revealing another little small envelope that I've made. Another decent size journaling spot, which yet again is washi taped in, which reveals another envelope. So there is going to be plenty of journaling and plenty of sections to include in ephemera. Centre of the signature, I've got left these threads here. That way I can attach items into the book. Got two little tucks here. At present moment they've just got some tags and a little bit more. I've got run some washi down the outside edge here on this little tag. So yet again if I wish to put some items in I can. Before I did receive any washi tape, I just used micro pores here and stamped on it down the centre. So that just made this little book a little bit more robust. The paper here is of poor quality, so I gessoed each page and then went over with some acrylic paint. That way I can do some stamping without it bleeding through to the pattern side of the paper. Plenty of areas, plenty of large post-it notes here for journaling, so I'm not going to run out of writing space. Little envelopes that I've made and these are all going to be holding, these two at the bottom have got some die cuts, which is from the Tim Holtz Little Bird in Cage here. Another little envelope here which the flap is just held down with these few words here so that can be carefully untucked. This I double sided it so it's a little bit more robust. My first attempt of putting a napkin onto card. Another part of my watercolour tag that I made and it's jazzed up. It's just got some more little die cuts here in a little plastic bag. A pocket that I've had for some time. I received a birthday card and I cut out, fussy cut some of the butterflies out, which you see here. This pocket here has another one of my watercolour tags, which has been stamped on. And I also had a trial run of using a white corrective pen to make some stitching. And I've just added some more butterflies to make it look pretty. Just allowing the paper to do its thing, made a little banner here, just put one of the little Tim Holtz birds. And so this section here is going to be used as a tuck spot and just made this little section a bit of a raised embellishment. A vellum little envelope here that I stamped. You can see it's like a little bit of fly fishing here. And so this has got some little die cuts already inside. And behind I have these little vellum pockets ready to go. Some more die cuts here. And just a little plastic die cut stuck. And a piece of stamping here. And on the back, the last of the signature, I've got a much more heavyweight plastic pocket here that's been washi taped down the outside edge. I've got some more little vellum stamps of a butterfly and a dragonfly which I've stuck onto the plastic. And inside here is a bit of um, traditional ephemera 
this little vintage postcard I picked up from a little antique shop and that is just sitting in there for the moment ready for either some more journaling or some pictures to be stuck inside. So thank you very much. I have left for the moment this pocket open, done some more fussy cut. It was a matter of just using elements I have had for a very long time and this remains empty for the moment. So thank you very much for looking at my junk journal. Bye bye.